Hello again, I'm Joel Barthelemy. Some of you may have had the opportunity to attend the ATA 2014 in Baltimore. The American Telemedicine Association's International Meeting and Exposition is one of the major events in the connected health world because it brings together a wide assortment of providers, hospital administrators, IT experts, and vendors. Let me show you some video of our main booth in Baltimore's Convention Center. We introduced a number of new and exciting products at the trade show, beginning with the Clinical Access Station. It features an elegant modular design that allows providers to start with the basics and easily add other modalities or service lines as their telemedicine programs expand. Modules containing exam cameras, ultrasound probes, or Bluetooth 12-lead EKGs simply slide into place and are secured to the station with just two fasteners. An exciting new technology called NICAS will help physicians better and more precisely manage congestive heart failure, hypertension, and shortness of breath. NICAS, or non-invasive cardiac system, provides the ultimate hemodynamic vital signs, including stroke volume, cardiac output, cardiac power, total peripheral resistance, and total body water. Look for a future blog to focus on this outstanding new system. Earlier I mentioned exam cameras. We introduced a new camera, the Total Exam 3 at ATA 2014. Like its two predecessors, the Total Exam 3 produces images of superior clarity. But perhaps its most noticeable feature is how the camera head can pivot for provider comfort. What you're seeing in the Total Exam 3 is the future of Global Med's video medical devices. The product drawing a lot of attention in Baltimore, though, was our new wall dock station, which we put on display for the very first time. Designed to fit into smaller exam rooms and clinics, the wall dock mounts where else? On the wall. The same medical devices we offer on our mobile stations can be integrated into the wall dock and an electronic system allows it to be adjusted for height of the patient. We see the wall dock as a perfect solution for urgent care centers and retail clinics that simply don't have the space for mobile stations, but still plan to do simultaneous telemedicine consults in more than one room. At ATA 2014, we invited visitors to go to our other booth for informative and educational presentations. Here's a sampling of what they saw and heard. All states have various permeations of uh, what we call licensure exceptions. Um, they generally fall into things like this. For example, a state will allow for an exception to, for licensure for something like a resident in training. Our state is looking at, you know, what are we going to do if, if really this national movement of mergers and acquisitions are happening and there's really only going to be, you know, 8, 10, 15 health systems, what does that mean for the community hospitals and the com critical access hospitals? Are they going to even be there? Do they need to be there? The acceptance from the patients were amazing. To, to be able to see the pictures that we were seeing, I'd look in somebody's ear and then see it on the screen and they're like, wow, that's amazing, or uh, especially ultrasound. When you got the women in there, they could actually see the ultrasound and see their baby. It was fantastic. And so the technology that we find fascinating is just as fascinating to the patients. And there is an automatic draw to that equipment. In the following weeks, we will post the presentations online where you can watch them at your convenience. Have any questions about our new solutions? Let me know. My email address is Joel's blog. That's J. O E L S blog at globalmed.com. I'm Joel Bartholomew.